What are you hearing that Belichick's going to do in 2024? Anything? Well, Steve Belichick was on with Chris Long on the Greenlight podcast last right. week, and he alluded to television, which is something that I actually mentioned before the end of the season, because I think there's a good opportunity for Bill to do a reset and get the right situation. Now, I think in a lot of ways, Atlanta could have been the right situation, at least roster wise. They had the offensive talent. Bill has not been great with offensive um, player selection, but they had everybody but the quarterback in that organization. So it was a good situation, but it didn't pan out. If Bill goes on TV and he acts the way he did with you on the NFL 100 and he finds the right situation, you know, it was intimated, I think, with Adam Schefter tweeted that Bill would like to find a place that has a smaller media contingent so that people are not invading his space with his coaches. I don't know if that's out there. So – I would imagine television would probably be the landing spot right now, Rich. Yeah, I I, I would think so for sure. But I guess Steve. What Bell- are you hearing? Nothing. Zero. He could put, he could pop down right next to you. I would love it. He's welcome here. We, uh, my, my guy Del Tufo will give him a slip for his boat. You know yeah, what I mean? He's got. I got. I got one right. <laughs> all he's got to do is just get it through the right Panama the- Canal, and oh. and he's got a spot here. That's all he's got to do. Because you know. Um, I think he's got he's got the ability to do that. Honestly, Tom, uh, he would be dynamite at it. And Steve Belichick said, I guess that he he might show up at uh, in Seattle, University of Washington, every now and then just to check things out. Or I guess he was looking at all the players for for Steve to go through. He's the greatest coach of all time. Uh, honestly, he he's the greatest X's and O's guy and diehard ball guy I've ever come across in my twenty plus years the, of doing this. The greatest. Ever. In-game coach yeah. in NFL history, bar none. I mean, who else in 2014 is going to sit there and stare at Pete Carroll chewing gum with a timeout in his pocket, mm-hmm. the team on the two, and say, no, I'm not calling timeout. Not they look a little disorganized. <laughs> the, the in-game coaching of Bill is will never be really paralleled because you have to have a level of success to get to that brass balls level of, I'm going to do this. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.